so today we're back with another cast video this one of the tawny makeover variety we're going to be giving the calientes a fresh look because that's not an oversaturated category of videos or anything one of the first things i make sure to do is adjust body proportions of any sim that i open in cast because the custom sliders i have installed definitely enhance things of their own volition it doesn't matter if i made the alterations myself prior like in this case i definitely didn't this is the first time i opened them in cast and this save but the sliders and presets as well they're in the same camp they have a mind of their own it doesn't bother me when townies generate with different body types outside of the realm of stick thin and conventional but the unrealistic proportions look a little funny and kind of annoying actually to constantly see and have to fix. Basically, it appears that if someone generates slightly curvy, they would have that multiplied by two. So usually sims that walk past me in game typically have a huge dump truck and I'm like, okay, you need to park it or something and get it out of the background of my screenshot for the love of God. I'm long overdue for a CC clean out. I have no idea what sliders are doing that anymore. I've had some of this stuff in my folder for five years. That is probably the worst way to go about handling CC for the record. Not only that, but I also have broken meshes and stuff that generally don't look good. But I've never gotten rid of them. I should probably get on that. She said, opening this voiceover five minutes after downloading new CC. But yeah, so here's Dina. We don't spend too much time on the skin details because I have essentials that I gravitate toward and apply to every sim. With my default overlay, not much is really required. I add nose detail and some blush with added highlights and a second blush over top of that that adds a freckled look which appears like the texture of pores to me. I've been really into the no eyelash look and bigger eyes and overall cartoonist features for most of my games. Or I have been. It's funny, when this was filmed, it was 100% true. But I'm in limbo with my saves at the moment. Nothing is working for me, so I started to adjust some of the cartoonish elements as I return to my roots using more alpha-like CC and Max's match hair. Listen, I'm constantly changing my mind. I can't tell if I love or hate this game. No, ultimately, I do freaking love it. I mentioned in the last video that this game is stupidly perfect sometimes. But when I'm not attached to my sims, man, playing is so hard. And I've been struggling to root myself into gameplay lately. Nothing is evoking a sense of enjoyment. So I've been changing the aesthetics and needlessly stressing myself out about storylines and such. Anyway, that's not the point of this video. It's so inconvenient that my voice is going right now. So for Dina, well, for both girls, I try not to deviate too far from canon of sims 4 at least i keep dina with shorter hair and i have a favorite pixie cut look that i try to put on every sim honestly i don't know why i decided not to keep it i even check how it looks on nina later but i don't keep it thin either anyway i opt for light makeup looks because that's my preference for sims really though when it comes time to do the outfit I've been trying to veer away from that, from choosing outfits that I, as the player, personally find appealing because I feel that hinders me from giving individuality to any sim I create. So here I am sticking to the color scheme of Dina's canon outfit, but then opting for the outfit that I liked the least of all the combinations I tried for her. And by the finished product, I feel as if I kind of did Dina dirty. Not nearly as dirty as EA did, she just doesn't look as good as she could have, in my opinion. I've done these makeovers at least a dozen times, if not more. 
and I have made Dina Caliente look far better than this. I don't know what went wrong here. I'm sure there's a recent makeover of her sitting in my gallery that's better than this. And speaking of gallery, I don't typically put CC heavy sims up on the gallery. Let me know if that's counterintuitive if you want these sims. I've done a few cast videos now and I don't think I put a single one on a gallery. Anyway, I filmed myself making all of the outfits, but I only show me creating the everyday ones. Why did I do this? Why do I do anything? I don't know. Nina ended up my favorite. I speed through the initial process because I know what I'm picking when it comes to skin details. Not only are they my typical picks, but they're twins. Are they twins? Sisters. I don't pick anything drastically different for her except for a mole. And because Nina has the lazy trait, I pick an updo look because I think the loose strands give the appearance of minimum effort. I mean, this creator is amazing and it looks sleek and well made, obviously, but it's a messy bun. I choose eyeliner that's smudged for the same reason, because she's meant to be lazy. I try to make it seem like she doesn't care too much about her appearance in comparison to her sister. While Dina wears wedges as her everyday, Nina wears flip-flops, I think. <laughs> She's not like other girls. Dina wears short skirts and Nina wears t-shirts. No, I'm kidding. That's not how I meant it to sound. I eventually choose a more subtle lip for her everyday outfit. But during one of Dina's, I have this idea that these girls are into the overlined lip makeup trend. And so I give them bold lips for their party outfits, I think. I really love most of Nina's outfits more. Did I make her with more love? I don't know. I can't remember. Funnily enough, I feel like I spent less time on her. But is that because I picked CC that I knew I already liked? Whereas I experimented with Dina? Wait, no. That wouldn't be true. At least not in accordance with Nina's every day because I'm pretty sure that's the first time I've used either of those CC items. I don't know. Regardless, let me know if this was somewhat entertaining. Admittedly, I don't watch Sims videos anymore. I haven't seen a cast video in probably like five years. I don't know if the voiceover is an effective way to film it or is it better in real time. I'm going to continue experimenting with things. I hope you enjoyed it. Perhaps tell me so by giving it a like if you're feeling kind. A subscribe smash if you're feeling especially generous today. <laughs> I've been dizzy. Thanks for watching.